Hey guys, if you're seeing this part, you're catching the replay. We are doing um, just some girl talk. So I started last month, I started doing um, monthly favorites, and you guys seem to really like it. So I realized we were halfway through Jan or February, and I had not done January's favorites yet. So I'm just waiting for people to hop on. I'm going to give it a minute. A quick minute because I know it's middle of the day so I don't want to keep you guys waiting for too long hey Amanda so you guys the Sun is out today the Sun is never out hey Erica the Sun is never out here not till like June at the earliest <laughs> um, so we got up, hey Devin, we got up and out of the house early, I dropped off the kids to school and then me and the little guy went to Target and Starbucks. So we had a good start to the day. So a little bit of housekeeping before we get started. Um, so we're going to do, some of what you're going to see today is going to be in the VIP it's going to be part of the VIP perks. So I'm going to show you guys some of my monthly favorites and then I bought like travel and sample sizes that I can send you guys because I like getting free stuff in my packages. Who doesn't, right? So I thought that that would be a fun thing to do this week for the VIPs. Um, I picked up some extras while we were at Target and I'm just going to pop them in to VIP purchases whenever you guys, yeah, Starbucks for sure. Starbucks is life. When the VIPs place orders, they will get a little something extra in their order. So what is VIP? VIP is something I started doing in November. Um, I didn't like the way it was running. I, was, I wanted it to be a way that I could say thank you to you guys um, who either shop with me or who participate in my group a lot. So um, it started off, we did a Facebook group. I didn't like the way that that ran, so in December I took a break and really strategized how could I best like show you guys my appreciation for your support, because every, oh, <laughs> Angie, <laughs> I know I'm wearing it with, um, I'm like all layered up today. I have a relaxed ruffle and a pullover and then a duster. It's like layers upon layers today. It's really fabulous. I love it so much. I get so many compliments on it. Um, so last month I started up the new VIP program. So the way you get into the VIP lounge is either by spending $150 with me in one calendar month or by being a top, top 10 contributor in the Facebook group. So Facebook gives me a report that I can pull at any time and it shows me who is participating the most in the group. Um, who's commenting, who's liking, or who's posting like pictures of themselves in their A and D. So that is a huge way to show me support. It's not all just about how much you guys shop. It's just about like your presence there. And I tell you guys all the time, like I'm so thankful for your presence here in the group um, because that's a really great way that you guys show me support. So I want to reward you guys too and to say thank you to, to my contributors as well um, and, and the shoppers too, of course. So last month I set up a newsletter. It was a, a special exclusive email newsletter that only the VIPs got and once a week I would send out just a little something extra to say thank you. I would, you know, maybe free shipping or maybe a $10 coupon. Um, I'm trying to think if, if anyone else is on right now who is in VIP, what else did we do? Um, once in a while, there's going to be sneak peeks and first dibs. Um, oh, we did a custom order. VIPs got to do, hey, Emily, VIPs got to do a custom order. Um, that's not something that I usually do just in general. That was strictly for VIPs. So this week, VIPs are going to get an email. They are going to get a sneak peek at what is going to be launching on Friday's live sale and they are also going to get samples of and like travel sizes of some of my faves. Yes, Angie, thank you. So that's what VIP is going to be this week. I'm going to send out the email um, tonight probably so they're going to get a sneak peek on what's launching tomorrow and um, whenever they place their next order like within the next week or so they'll get a little something extra as just a token of my appreciation. 
The other housekeeping thing, really quick, I sent out an email last night. I don't know if you guys saw it, but we have started doing styling sessions. So in my mind, I'm picturing this Julia Roberts from Pretty Woman. Um, in when she went into the when Richard Greer found out how she was treated so badly at the first time she tried to go shopping and so he took her in and like handed the guy his credit card and everybody just like treated her like royalty and they're like oh this would look good on you this would look good on you and then she got to go back into the Mean Girls boutique and be like you remember yesterday and you wouldn't serve me huge mistake huge like <laughs> it's my favorite part of that movie so I wanted to treat you guys like Julia Roberts when Richard Greer just was like treat her like royalty so um, the way that it works right now I have slots every Sunday at 2 o'clock um, I can take four four appointments every Sunday um, I'll, you sign up it's totally free I send you a questionnaire that tells me all about you your sizes color pattern preferences and all of that um, and then I put together a capsule wardrobe for you somewhere between like nine and 13 pieces usually it's gonna be pieces that you can kind of mix and match to make different outfits with um, <laughs> Devin, you need to get you a Richard Greer girl <laughs> um, I'm just kidding um, so yeah there's no obligation to shop on your styling session it's just something that I want to do for you guys to help you out to see help show you guys ways that you can style things things that maybe you wouldn't have thought to put together in an outfit um, I know Emily Emily did you see the Austin that launched the color on that reminded me of you Emily and I love our like burgundies that's like our color so those were the two housekeeping things I wanted to talk to you guys about I'm gonna take a quick sip of coffee and then we will get into monthly faves one sec and you guys tell me too what are your favorite products as we're going through these I want to know your favorite things that you're using a lot right now whether it's a book you're reading or an app that you like or a product or or whatever like I I need all of the ideas girls all of the ideas okay so favorite number one is the rockaholic I know this is showing up backwards it's the brand is bedhead coffee is life <laughs> Stephanie amen um, it's the Rockaholic dry shampoo. Um, this was the first dry shampoo I tried back when I had two kids um, 13 months apart. My first two kids are 13 months apart. Um, so like showering was difficult sometimes. There was not always time to take a shower. So my friend who was a hairstylist introduced me to dry shampoo and you guys know dry shampoo is like a huge thing now. But my all time favorite is still the Bedhead Rockaholic. It's called Dirty Secret Dry, dry Shampoo. I have dark hair. It doesn't leave, as long as I like shake it in really well, it doesn't leave that like white residue. Um, hey Christina. So this is my favorite. So the night, one of the VIPs that order, you're going to get this little guy in your order. Um, and yeah, it's my jam. I love it so much. And it also gives me good volume. I have really thin, fine hair, and so it helps give my hair some volume and texture, and I like that too. Neat. I'm going to flip the camera so that you guys can see this next one because it's a book, and I don't want you to see it backwards. Okay. So next up, you guys have heard me talk about this book a couple of times. It just came out. It's Girl, Wash Your Face by Rachel Hollis. She is like my spirit animal, okay? She is like the coolest. She has a free podcast. Um, she has like a blog and everything if you guys want to go check her out before you buy the book. But I highly recommend her. I mean, this is more... Yeah, Stephanie, it's the best. It's the bomb.com. Um, so the, the tagline of this book is stop believing the lies about who you are so you can become who you were meant to be. So it's just about um, becoming like the best version of yourself. It's not just, it's not, it can be applied to like if you have a business, but really it's just about you and maybe some things that you have come to believe about yourself and she goes over things that she started to believe about herself due to like certain life experiences um, and she kind of debunks those she debunks the lies that she has told herself um, yes Emily you have to it's a pretty quick read and actually if you go 
to her podcast. It's called the Deus, D-A-I-S podcast. She gives you the first three chapters um, of the audiobook for free. So you can kind of like listen to the first couple of chapters to see if you like it. Um, and I highly, highly recommend it. So like I was already crying <laughs> and I'm not like a super emotional person, but, um, just reading the introduction, she just like, oh, she just gets you like girlfriend is real. She's the real deal. She's legit. Um, and so, yeah, she just kind of like hits home with everything. She doesn't beat around the bush. There's not a lot of like fluff in this book. She just like goes for it. So you guys have to get this book, Girl, Wash Your Face by Rachel Hollis. Um, I pre-ordered this a couple months ago, and I am just like loving it so much. Loving it. Devin, what podcasts do you listen to? I have pen and pencil. Tell me, you guys, if you have any books that you're loving right now or podcasts, tell me, because I am an audiobook podcast junkie for sure. You have to tell me your faves. I'm ready. <laughs> okay. Next up is a skincare deal. So I have really stubborn adult acne. It's um, hereditary. Both of my parents have dealt with cystic acne well into their um, like 50s, really. Dax Shepard's Armchair Expert. I'm writing it down. Give me a sec. Thank you. Um, so yeah, I have really stubborn acne prone skin. So it's really difficult for me to find skincare products that actually work and don't either like over strip my skin. Um, cause you guys probably know if you use too harsh of a cleanser or too harsh of a skincare product, it strips your skin of its natural oils and then your oil react or your skin reacts by producing even more oil, which makes you break out. Um, and I need that, like I need a hole in the head. So, um, I found this, it's the Thayer's Witch Hazel Aloe Vera um, toner. It's alcohol free, so it's not overly drying. And it has, it's like a rose scented. So this is another sample size that I'm going to be sending to somebody. Do you want to say hi? No, daddy's not here. I'm not talking to daddy, I'm talking to my friends. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Do you see how cute you are? <laughs> okay, do you want to get down? Huh? Okay, go play. A friend of mine has a podcast, not another anxiety show. Okay, that is good. Not. So if any of you guys deal with anxiety, um, I have dealt with like really severe crippling anxiety, especially after the birth of that little guy, because he came into the world with a bang. <laughs> Um, I had a, a placental abruption with him, which was really like the scariest night of my life because I wasn't sure if he was going to make it and I wasn't sure if I was going to make it. And so the the impact of that was that I dealt with really, really bad anxiety. Thank you guys. Yeah, he is super cute. Um, and I found this podcast on um, that about anxiety that really helped me because um, it's actually really difficult to find access to a good like therapist or counselor or anything like that in my area So that just was not an option. I tried to find help and I couldn't couldn't find it. So um, Not to get like too deep into hard stuff But the podcast was called the anxiety coaches podcast and it really really helped me like big time It was like free therapy so I'm gonna so yeah, you guys gave me a lot of good, good, awesome. Yes, I love TED Talks, love. Pick the brain, cults. Oh, I'm watching a show about a cult right now. It's very, very interesting. Okay, so this, um, this is the Thayer's Witch Hazel Rose Petal Toner. So a VIP is going to get this little guy in their next order. I'm just going to pick them randomly but I'm sharing all of my favorites and kind of spreading the love by sending them you guys little extra freebies as a token of appreciation. So that is one. And then another skincare thing that I've been doing a lot is like masks. So I have some masks that I buy um, from a couple, I have some friends who are like, who are reps for different direct sales companies. 
I'm technically not supposed to mention those names here. Um, so I have one here that is just, I got from Target and I get them from like Wegmans if any of you guys are local. Um, just these little like packet, sometimes they're like a sheet mask and sometimes it's like an actual lotion or something that you, you put on your skin. But I've been doing this like two to three times a week. Um, and they have different masks for different skin issues and I feel like it's really helping my skin. It's helping to exfoliate my skin and help my skin. You know, ladies, I'm not getting any younger and I do have five kids. So, um, I feel sometimes like I look a little bit older and tired. So we all need some help in that area, right? So I love doing these, um, little sheet masks. I think this one is just like a cream that you rub on. Um, but I have to be careful when I do the sheet ones because they scare my kids. I look like I look scary <laughs> when I put one on. And so I have to like I usually will go in my room and tell Zach, my husband, that I have to like set a timer for 15 minutes. I need to disappear for a little bit because Henry saw me with one of those sheet masks on one time and he flipped out. <laughs> he was like, what? what is mom got on her face? What happened to my mother? Um, so just a tip for anybody who has small children, I mean, don't scare your kids like I did. <laughs> okay, so along the lines of skincare, I've had a couple people ask me whenever I post my outfit pictures on the group wall, you guys are like, tell me your secret. Why do you look so young? Why do you like, tell me whatever, whatever products you're using. Um, I do use a lightweight foundation and a concealer. I can't use anything heavy or pore clogging. Otherwise I will break out like crazy, but I did find this one product and it's just like a drugstore brand. Um, and it is my holy grail get rid of the bags and dark circles and it is the Maybelline instant age rewind eraser of dark circles um, so this is I don't know if you guys if it's focusing um, this is what it looks like now there are concealers that look just like this and they're always on the rack together this one has like a pink hue to it yeah, Devin. <laughs> that would be like YouTube worthy or maybe not because people would probably be like, you're a horrible mother. You know how mom, how people like to <laughs> be judgy McJudgerson. But yeah, that would be hilarious. Um, there were a few times I did it dark. Yeah, Tiara. <laughs> yeah, Warden doesn't use, our dog's name is Warden. I have five kids. We needed a warden in our house, so um, that's why his name is that. Uh, but warden doesn't—he um, doesn't pay any attention to me. But it scares the, the the daylights out of Henry whenever I put a mask on. If it's just like a light-colored cream one, it's fine. But those sheet masks—I mean, they are kind of freaky looking. So, um, so this is—you put it on under your concealer. Isn't it amazing, Rebecca? Um, they do have this in a concealer, but this is the, it's not like the light or pale or anything. It's the brightener and illuminator. So you can put this on right here. And then sometimes I'll even use it like as a highlighter, um, cause it doesn't get cakey. So it's really nice to use that way. And it has kind of like a pink tinge to it, but this is why you can't see any of those bags or dark circles um, in the pictures that I take, the outfit pictures that I take and post on the wall. It's because I use this stuff every single time. So you guys got to get some. I'm just going to try to move this little, I have this little light here, but it's like not, I feel like it's not doing any good. I'm going to have to work on lighting. Okay. The next one is not a beauty product or even a product at all. It's a subscription. You guys, I'm so crooked. What is going on? I'm so sorry if I'm making you dizzy. Henry was playing with my tripod, so now it's all wonky. Okay, well, I'm just going to hold it here. That's okay. So the subscription service that you guys have all heard of, I'm sure, it's Blue Apron. Um, and Zach and I, they actually don't make a package big enough for our family. 
So Zach and I usually get it like once a month and it's like our date night in and that's also when Zach cooks dinner because he doesn't cook. He doesn't know how to cook, which is my own fault because when we were first married, I wanted to do the cooking because I liked to cook. So I wouldn't let him cook. Sorry, you guys. Give me a second to try to figure out this tripod. It's driving me crazy. I don't know if I can deal with this. Um, so I wouldn't let Zach cook. So he never learned how to cook because he didn't learn it from his mom. And then after um, high school, he was in the military. And they don't cook in the military either. So um, he never learned how to cook. And <laughs> so this is like... Once a month we do this, we get Blue Apron just for him and I, and it's date night in, um, and Zach cooks dinner. So those are like my favorite nights of the week. We usually will get three meals, so we get like three date nights in, in a week. Um, and it's cheaper than actually like getting a babysitter and going out. And I'm a homebody anyway, so I usually, I'm like, I don't really want to go out. I'd rather sit on my couch in my joggers and dreamy duster, have my husband cook me dinner, drink some wine, watch some Grey's Anatomy. Like, I'm pretty crazy. <laughs> I'm pretty crazy and exciting. Um, not, not crazy or exciting. Do you guys remember the movie Borat? I am not crazy and exciting. Okay, sorry. I'll stop with the bad jokes. <laughs> you guys are like, this girl is crazy <laughs> if you don't know it already it is Christina it's really really nice um, just to have him cook once in a while look how empty this rack looks here that is the result of the markdowns you guys cleaned me out I mean I have which way are we going here I have I have a lot more stuff over here but like this whole section of the rack is totally cleared out because of the, the dusters and the pullovers and the three-quarter swings going on sale. You guys cleaned me out. I think I have like three swings left. I have some dusters left, so if you're still looking for markdown dusters, um, grab them because after the 28th, they're going back up to $48. And same with the pullovers. The pull Well, I don't have very many pullovers, but whatever I do have left over is going back up to $44 at the end of the month. So don't wait yes I love home date nights too we are going out to dinner this weekend we go out to dinner like three times a week three times a year we're just homebodies are you guys homebodies I am okay next product so this is a nail polish and a lot of times I will have, like right now, I need to redo them. A lot of times I'll have either like a Color Street or a Jamberry nail vinyl peel and stick thing on because I don't have time to... Yes, Stephanie, all of the regular dusters, the Dreamy dusters are not included, um, but they are on the site. The, the, the sale prices are not reflected on there. I just, I, I adjust your invoice when I, when I send them. Does that make sense? Um, so there's even a few people on Etsy who do like their own peel and stick nail thingies But if I forget to order some and I need to have something on my nails. I love this nail polish um, It's the Sally Hansen insta dry and it's pretty inexpensive I think this was like three dollars and fifty cents and I got two shades This is one of my favorite shades and then there's a lighter pink that I like too So a couple of VIPs are gonna get some nail polish um, and the reason I like this one is just because of how fast it dries. I mean, with five kids, I just don't have time to sit. I mean, even if you don't have kids, if you're just like a busy woman and you have a job and a house to take care of or you have pets that are like not going to sit and wait for your nails to dry before they're like jumping on you, you guys know how it is. Um, so I really like this one. It really does dry really, really fast. So if I am in a pinch and I don't have my trusty peel and stick nail stuff to put on, that's what I go for. The Sally Hansen Insta Dry. Okay, and then I have one more thing to show you guys, and it's actually an app that I use. And it's called, I'm going to pull it up so you guys can see what it looks like. Um, I'm, I'm just pulling it up on my iPad really quick. It's called Sleep Cycle. 
and you plug it in, plug your phone in while you're sleeping at night and you just set it like neck on your bed stand or next to your pillow or something and you tell it, okay, so back, let me back up. I am not a morning person. I'm pretty grouchy in the morning. I have a really hard time waking up. Um, when my kids were really little, if even their, like my older kids, when my older kids were really little, if their breathing pattern changed, I would wake up and hear it. But I guess after five kids, my body is just so sleep deprived that like I sleep like the dead. It is, it's bad. Like sometimes it's scary because I don't wake up. My alarm will be going off next to my head for a solid five minutes and I won't hear it. I'm just like, I'm that, I, I sleep that deeply. Um, so this sleep cycle alarm, you have to have it plugged in through the night, otherwise it's gonna drain your battery, but you give it a window, like a 30 minute window of when you wanna wake up. So usually I have it between like 5.45 and 6.15. Um, sometime between five, I need to be up at the latest by 6.15, right? Um, so it, it somehow, it like gauges where you are in your sleep cycle. It has like sensors, your phone has sensors in it that tell, your, the the site the the app if you're in a deep sleep or if you're in like light sleep um, so this is what the app looks like whoops oh my gosh are you kidding me stop it that one right there it's called sleep cycle um, and it will wake you up at when you're at a light when you're in a light sleep so what that does is it makes it so that you don't feel completely exhausted when you wake up. Um, you feel more energized because if you get woken up out of like a REM cycle, you are gonna have a really hard time getting going. Um, and there's like a snooze. Hey Missy, did you Devin? I love it. I've used it on and off for the last couple of years and I always like function better when I'm using it consistently. And it's really nice because it actually like, you can look at your sleep it gives you like a chart at the end of the day and you can see or at the end of the night in the morning when you wake up and you can see like um, when you woke up in the middle of the night or what, how how good your sleep was like your sleep quality um, and it was really interesting because when I was working out consistently before I became an Agnes and Dora rep <laughs> um, I noticed that on days that I worked out my sleep quality was incredible and then on days that I did not work out I had like okay sleep quality so that was really interesting to see like you can track um, on like what different things are affecting your sleep cycle like if you're taking medic or your your sleep quality if you're taking medications or supplements or if you're working out or what times you're going to bed and see all different things that affect your sleep quality um, because like our lives are so busy and demanding that I feel like having good sleep is so crazy important. Um, so if you can like pinpoint things that are going to help you have better sleep quality, you're going to be a happier person, a more productive person, a more positive and like, you know, just, I'm a bear, you guys. When I don't get enough sleep, I am like just not a fun person to be around. I'm kind of just like... A zombie and not like I get grouchy and um, that's not fair to the people in my house so I try to make sure I'm getting good sleep last night I went to bed at 10 p.m. that was like the earliest I've gone to sleep in like six months so that was amazing and then I do have one more product here that I can show you guys so I was telling you guys earlier that I have really bad acne prone skin um, it's all it's hormonal acne I know it is because anytime you break out along like your neck your chin and your jaw that's hormonal acne um, which I know I've, I've always had stuff like that I have um, a thyroid issue and so I have just and then having like the, the pregnancies and stuff like that you know how Lots of different things can make a female's hormones go crazy, but I was reading that dairy has a lot of extra estrogen in it because a lot of our dairy in the United States comes from a, a pregnant cow. So um, I've been cutting out dairy to try to help clear up my skin, and I had three things that I was concerned about when it came to cutting dairy. Um, 
my coffee creamer. I, I will not cut out coffee. That's not happening. And I had tried non-dairy creamers in the past and they were just like not good. I don't like any of the creamers that have like the hydrogenated oils and the artificial sweeteners. They just taste really bitter to me. I don't like them. So that was my first concern. Second concern was I have a bagel with cream cheese every morning. That's my thing. I need my bagel with my cream cheese. Like, I'm just getting to that point where I'm kind of an old lady. I have my routines. I'm set in my ways. Don't mess with my routines, right? Um, and then the third thing I was concerned about was just like cheese. Like, I love me some brie. I love feta. I love blue. Like, I just love all the cheese. Like, Steve Urkel likes cheese. I like cheese. So my solution for the bagel thing was that I found out that it actually is really delicious to put avocado or guacamole on your bagel. I liked avocado toast, so I figured, well, maybe I will just put um, gu some guac on my bagel. And now I actually prefer that to having my cream cheese or butter. So I'll either do like peanut butter or I'll do guac. And I just get those little like self serve, the little single serve guacamole things. And that's, that's my breakfast. I have my bagel with my guac and my coffee. And um, Silk has this really good almond milk creamer. They have come a long way with almond milk creamers because I tried one like five years ago and it was not good, no good. And I'm sure there's like some stuff in this that's not the best, but I like that it has cane sugar. It's not a weird sweetener. Um, the thickener in it is pea protein. So that gives it like a creamy consistency. So I liked that. Um, the only thing I'm seeing in here that's kind of like weird maybe is potassium citrate and gelin gum. Gelin. Like, like the gelin shoe inserts or something. I don't know. Um, yeah, Devin, it's come a long way. It really has. Um, so I know that this probably isn't like considered a clean eating thing, but honestly, I just needed a way to cut the dairy out and this helped me to do that. So if you guys have a creamer that you feel like is better, like healthier, I'm all ears, but for now, this one's pretty good. Yeah, Stephanie, I'm really struggling with the cheese thing. I caved and had a couple slices of pizza like two weekends ago, and it was a bad idea. Um, I looked like my stomach got so like big, I looked like I was pregnant. <laughs> so that was just so. Can you guys hear my boy mom? What you got there, buddy? You got your robot? Mm -hmm. Yeah? <laughs> what, babe? It's not working? Well, you have to do it on a hard floor. Go do it out in the living room. You can't do it on carpet. Um, yeah, uh, so I'm really struggling with the cheese thing, but um, when I tried to eat the pizza, my skin broke out like crazy. I'm still, like, I have some, like, scarring here from it. So it just confirmed for me that dairy is not good for me, personally. But it is what it is, right? We have to do what we have to do to be healthy, and I'm pretty sick of 30-year-old acne, but I know I'm not alone. I know there's a lot of other people that struggle with that. Um, so I'm trying to, to get that under control. Also trying to drink more water. I walk around and I have like my coffee cup and my water cup. I'm always like double fisting my beverages. <laughs> okay, so those were all of the favorites I wanted to show you guys. I'm sorry that it's like halfway through February and I'm just now getting to my faves. See, I have to try that. You're like the fourth person that has told me that, and I've also heard that their pizza is really good. So I'm going to, the next time I go to Wegmans, I'm going to get some and give it a try. Like, I'm skeptical, but I'll, I'll try to keep an open mind. Um, so I'm going to hop off now and get the little guy some lunch and play Transformers and Robots with him for a little, bit, a little while before we do nap time. 
Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you guys have any like ride or die products that you love, comment below and let me know. Um, cause I'm always looking for new like holy grail products. You think? Cause Feta is one of my favorites. So if I could tolerate Feta and have it not break me out, that would, I would be like a very happy camper. That's very interesting. A difference between soft and hard cheese. Hmm. I never thought to see if there would be a difference. That is very interesting. Yeah, it's worth a shot, Devin. I'll probably restart. I'll Google that first just because I don't want to. I'm like, my skin is just starting to clear out from my pizza incident. So I don't really want to experiment with that right now, but I will Google it. And then once I feel like my skin has settled back down from my last transgression, I, I will probably have to give that a try because feta is one of my favorites. So. All right, you guys, I'm going to hop off. I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and I hope you liked this, this type of live. I have fun hanging out with you guys. Y'all are my peeps, so I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good day.